Hello! In today's RKO Scoop, my top three headlines are as follows. Headline number one could really only have been today's top headline, and that is uh, some exciting news linked with the famous Ertzi, the so-called Iceman. Um, ever since his discovery in 1991 in the Italian Alps, um, Ertzi has, has really transcended the world of archaeology as one of the world's most famous archaeological uh, finds, certainly some of the most famous human remains in all of history. Even Brad Pitt has an Ertzi tattoo on his forearm. Um, but this news is with regards to uh, a DNA analysis which has been done um, on his remains, but also um, in comparison to uh, several, uh, 3,700 um, men in the Tyrol area. Now, 19 uh, Tyrolean men have been um, shown to be uh, probably directly related to Ertzi. Uh, this is by, by analysing certain uh, mutations in DNA, essentially signatures, which can be traced um, uh, down to these modern people. Apparently they have not been told about their connection with Ertzi, um, but it is uh, nonetheless a very interesting find. Women ha have not been tested, as apparently that would require a different process, and uh, it seems there probably isn't the funding for that. Um, however, um, they are looking to spread the tests uh, out to, into um, uh, Switzerland and Italy to see um, if they can trace more people and more influence of Ertzi's genes, Ertzi's um, group, I suppose, uh, in the local area. So in some ways not surprising, um, but also in other ways a very interesting connection to have made. Um, and the story of Ertzi, the, uh, the intrigue of Ertzi, continues. So that's headline number one. Headline number two um, is actually, it's, it's not really uh, from a place per se, it's actually an NBC News story which I thought I'd highlight. And um, the headline is, Archaeologists Today Make Indiana Jones Look Like Ancient History. And um, it's uh, the, the, the initial photo on the news story actually is an artist, some archaeologists surrounded by loads of equipment, uh, which you may well think would be more suitable for um, possibly the military or, or you know, setting up a rock um, a concert or something, the cases that are open, this kind of thing. But it's, it's really just exploring the fact that actually technology is changing how archaeologists behave, how we do what we do, um, and also um, uh, the data that we can recover and what that means for the study of human history. So it's a really interesting little bit, little piece. Uh, and it's really nice actually to see that, that some of the, the stereotypes linked with the great Indiana Jones, he is wonderful, but some of these stereotypes are being um, now challenged in a very public arena. Incidentally as well, they mentioned LIDAR, and um, early next week you can expect an Aspects of Archaeology video um, about LIDAR to be coming your way. So, that's headline number two. Headline number three uh, is actually to do with a, a news story in The Telegraph, where um, a professor um, set out to disprove uh, a theory. Uh, this theory was that uh, many Roman roads in Britain, and possibly even throughout Europe, are based on uh, pre-Roman, Iron Age or Celtic um, sort of predecessors. The, the, the Romans just came along and they improved the, the road surface, but the roads were there already. And um, he, he worked on this for several years, I think it was six or seven years, and came to the conclusion that actually, um, no, yeah, there is actually a pattern there. And um, so, uh, in, a, in a curious twist of fate, um, his, uh, his initial mission to disprove the theory actually led to him writing a book uh, precisely about this idea. The idea being that roads were aligned with um, solstice, um, solstice uh, points in the landscape in order to, to aid worship and travel linked with um, sun deities, essentially. Now, obviously, this won't apply to all roads, and clearly, yes, Romans did add to uh, the road network. But it's, 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 it's more information about actually how the Romans didn't drastically transform the world that they came to when they came into Europe and into Britain, etc. Um, the people who they met were very clean, uh, they were very uh, advanced, they, according to this study, had advanced uh, mapping and surveying capabilities. And it may well be actually that the Romans simply changed the flavour of the Iron Age in Europe, not so much uh, uh, brought bringing civilization. There's already evidence, actually, we saw, I believe, last year in Archaeoscope, um, evidence of Romanized or Mediterranean-style towns in Britain before the Romans get here. The idea of mapping out a town wasn't necessarily brought here by the Romans, rather it was possibly imported uh, with wine. It was an idea that came 
before them. So this is just adding to that to that weight of, of evidence, and I suppose also adding to to a very complicated uh, idea of what it was uh, that we call the Roman invasion, certainly in Britain. Um, so it's an interesting news story, and also it's interesting, and I'd say very reassuring that this this particular professor had the integrity <laughs> to um, to to admit he was wrong, and then actually write a book about how wrong he was. So. Um, uh, that's a very interesting story anyway, so that's headline number three. For all those news stories and other news stories in the past few days, as ever, uh, all you need to do is check out the links in the video information. They're there for your delectation and delight. Please do enjoy reading those, and until next time, bye-bye.